Hello everyone and welcome to another Sunday afternoon chat on a beautiful, 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 but a little bit chilly Sunday afternoon here in, uh, here in Oklahoma. I'm at my daughter Sherry's house. That's the woods behind their house, right out there behind me. I don't know how many acres Jack's got here, but he's got a, got a pretty, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, did something get you? <laughs> That's Benelli you hear whining back there. I think the barbed wire fence got her back there. Went through a barbed wire fence. I think it cut her a little bit, or, or at least that one of the barbs bit her a little bit, and she thought something was on her and biting her. <laughs> it's amazing. They'll learn to be a little bit more careful around those barbed wire fences. There's absolutely no doubt about that. What a great week we had. Uh, we then wasn't at the Ingle a whole lot this week. Uh, we were there uh, toward the uh, the majority of last week and uh, got to go to church down there at Midway Hills Baptist Church last week and and uh, left out of there on a Wednesday. So we were actually there about eight or nine straight days and had a great time there with the deer, watching the deer and carrying on. Had pretty nice weather, not too bad of weather at all. A couple of days in there that was really nice, but just pretty much pretty pretty chilly, pretty chilly really all week. But uh, we've got a little wind blowing right now here, and uh, but we have got some weather coming the next two or three days. I'm talking about. I'm talking about chamber of commerce type weather, you know, the kind of weather that cities brag about that they have. Uh, we've got a couple of really nice Mondays and Tuesdays right here, and then Wednesday is forecast to be 73 degrees at Twin Eagle Ranch. 73 degrees. Now the next day is forecast to be about opposite of that. You just about turn those numbers around. Actually 46, I think, is what it's supposed to be for the high. Down in the 20s for the low. Uh, we uh, uh, it's Valentine's Day is this coming week. Every, all you guys remember, you got to get Valentine's for your ladies. Valentine's can be in the form of candy. It can be in the form of a great big nice dinner out. It can be in the form of beautiful lingeries, lingerie. You got to get yourself something at the same time you buy your Valentine something. And you girls now, you got to buy your Valentine something too. So just remember that. Think about that out there. I'm taking Chris uh, not on uh, not on Valentine's Day on Tuesday, but I, I guess Valentine's Day is Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but on uh, Thursday to uh, to see Jesus Christ Superstar in Oklahoma City Broadway play, and uh, we're really really looking forward to that. Uh, I never in my life. <laughs> thought that I would ever really enjoy Broadway plays, but I do. I love them. You know, I've seen a couple of them in uh, actually on Broadway in New York. Uh, we've seen them in, in, uh, in, out in Las Vegas, and, and I'll be able to see this one in Oklahoma City. And okay, they seem like we saw one somewhere else. Oh, Branson, Missouri. Saw Jesus in Branson, Missouri. That's right. So uh, uh, this is different than that play there. This is this is uh, this is because it's Jesus Christ Superstar, which has been around for years and years and years. But it's a spectacular. I've seen the the previews of it, or the, the samples, or the teases, or whatever they call them. And, and, and it's absolutely incredible. So um, anyway, we're, we're looking forward to this coming week. This last week uh, was really good because we ended the week. We left down there Wednesday. I left on a Wednesday and brought Chris over to Sherry and Jack's house to spend the weekend. I then drove to Little Rock, Arkansas. That's right, Little Rock, Arkansas to catch an airplane. Uh, and Little Rock, Arkansas is, is 220 miles from Sherry's house. So it's about 400 and some odd miles from my house to catch an airplane. <laughs> If you're going to drive 420 miles to catch the airplane, you just will drive wherever you're going. Uh, but caught an airplane in, in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, flew on a Thursday afternoon to uh, Columbus, Ohio, and worked the big Columbus National Fishing Expo. And it was just so much fun, so much fun. We had a big crowd there on Friday. That, that, that event went Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's wrapping up today. And uh, we had, we had just, a, just a great time. Well, <laughs> Sorry about that, but Manelli decided that she wanted to read my Catch a Better Life book. And uh, you can see I had it laying on the ground. This is, uh, this is Benelli right here. See that right there? It's Benelli. By the way, if you, are not, if you are not subscribed to the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube, look at that. She was reading right from the front of the book. <laughs> reading right from the front of the book. Look at that. That tore that page out. I actually left this book out in the rain the other night. I left it out, out on my front deck and uh, let it sit there all day and it rained on it. And so some of the pages are beginning to stick together. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> I might just draw a name out and give that to somebody, you know, because that's a special one right there. Pages have gone out of it. Teeth marks on it. But it's got the corner of it. I heard her having some fun there, and I looked down, and sure enough, this is what was happening. 
So uh, the joy of raising a Labrador pup, the joy of la raising a Labrador puppy. I mean, who could who could do it any other way? <laughs> so be throwing that in the trash, some of those deals. And uh, better hold this in my hand, huh? Better hold it in my hand. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, anyway, we were there at the Columbus uh, National Fishing Expo. They hold those in four different cities, but we were there on a Friday and uh, we just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people showed up. I think they had, uh, I don't know, two or 3,000 people show up and, and it was just a really, really good show. The show Saturday and Sunday, I'm sure, had even larger attendances than that. Super show, I met a lot of really nice folks up there, saw a lot of friends that I hadn't seen in quite a little while and just had a super time. Left there. I uh, got up at 5 o'clock yesterday, yesterday morning and uh, flew from there down, back down to Little Rock where my truck was. Drove down with about another 120 miles on further south down to McGee, Arkansas. And uh, that is M-C-G-E-H-E-E. -E -E. Is that McGee or McGee? -he? Now, I have pronounced that McGee, Arkansas, all my life. And I asked Sherry, I said, you know, I've been saying McGee, Arkansas all my life. Driven through there a thousand times. Well, you ask somebody over there if they, the locals pronounce it, said, McGee or McGee because I've always said McGee and so she did and whomever she asked which was Clay <laughs> she asked Clay and Clay said it's McGee McGee you got to kind of you don't put a big E on the gee but you got to say McGee and uh, so I got over there yesterday I finally I drove over there got over there about five, four o'clock in the afternoon 4 30 and uh, when I said McGee somebody said Jimmy but it's McGee it's not McGee you could get run out of town if you start saying McGee and I looked over at Kay, and they said, it is not. It is McGeehee, Arkansas. <laughs> so I guess it's Sherry asked the wrong guy. Clay's a great guy. He made me some little crappie jigs. He made me a, a little box of crappie jigs that he makes, and they're just absolutely beautiful. I mean, they're gorgeous. I can't wait to get out there and try them. And hopefully I'm going to get to fish a couple hours on Wednesday, so I might tie one on and get, try one sometime Wednesday. But uh, we had a great time over there at McGee, Arkansas. Uh, we had a beast feast that was one of the best I have ever seen. It probably had the best tasting feed food that I've ever seen in a beast feast. We had we had a pheasant casserole. It was absolutely out, out of sight. Uh, we had uh, we had duck and wild pig uh, boudin at balls, and they were just great. We had um, we, we, the, the deer meat was great. We we had quail breast where they'd cut the breast into two or three pieces, wrap it in bacon, put it on the grill. And of course we had fried quail legs, running gear, fried running gear. We had deer meat, elk meat, bear meat. Uh, I don't know what all, but just absolutely, I mean, it was, it was out of sight. And the dessert, they had all kinds of desserts. And listen, they do it right in McGee, Arkansas. They do it absolutely perfect because they put out all the desserts first. When you get there, before they ever start the food line, like an hour before the food line, you go through the dessert bar. And they had all the desserts that so many of the, the, the families and women, I'm sure, had prepared and brought up there to that. Uh, just all kinds of different desserts. And, and there was one that was uh, 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 blueberries on some cream filling and a, like an Oreo, not an Oreo, but a graham cracker, some kind of cracker on the bottom. It was to die for. It didn't make you slap your grandma away from the table. I'm telling you, it was just like out of sight. In fact, it was so good that, that my buddy I was sitting right across the table from TC, he had a, a big one, like a double or triple size that he had cut out of there. And it had like a couple of bites out of it. I'd seen it sitting on that table from about 4.30, 5 o'clock on, and we got, got through eating. And so I sat down finally with my food, and, and, and there was three or four bites, and I thought somebody might have left it. So I got my fork, and I thought, well, I'd try a bite. Oh, man, man, it was like heaven in your mouth. And, uh, and so, um, and so uh, uh, he said, oh, by the way, that's my dessert. And I said, well, you better be eating it. I said, I'll just eat this half over here, sitting across the table. I'll eat to the halfway point. You eat to the halfway point. That way we'll, we'll have it done. He said, well, okay. He said, and so I got to my halfway point, I guess a little bit quicker than he did. <laughs> and, uh, and there was another nice size piece sitting there that nobody had touched. And I didn't know somebody, I thought somebody had just left it. They probably got full up eating all the other great stuff and, and left it. So he said, by the way, that one's mine too. And I said, you got you two desserts over there? Baptists do that. Baptists do that. And uh, he said, yeah. He said, I took a bite or two over there in line when I cut it. That's those bites that were gone. And it was so good, I thought I better get me another piece before they run out of it. And so he said, you can have that other piece. And I said, no, I'll tell you, I'm going to tell you just what a nice guy I am. I'm going to share that other piece with you too. 
we'll, we'll half that. I'll, I'll turn it around and I'll say, I'll eat the half, you eat the half. And so when I got up to speak, uh, you know, it was that one piece was sitting there and, uh, and I had eaten my half down to about the last three or four bites, which I left for him. And so I picked it up and I said, I don't know who made this. I don't know who made this. And the lady was actually sitting at our table, not too far down. She raised her head kind of humbly. And I said, I said, let me tell you what, that is the, that is the most incredible woman in this entire building. I want to tell you right there. And uh, she had three beautiful kids there. And she looked over at her husband when I said that, like, you see what Jimmy said? I'm the most incredible woman in this building. And, uh, and she is, I, and I couldn't believe her husband didn't weigh like 500 pounds and she makes stuff like that for him to eat because of, and, and it really, and she came up and visited a little bit after the, after the, uh, after the, the, the event. And she's just a super nice woman, super nice family, beautiful family. But we had a great, great time over there. Those folks are just like me. The McGee, Arkansas, South Arkansas, uh, hunters, fishermen, they had, while we were there at that deal, they, they had the kids uh, buck contest and, that, and they had prizes, a big bunch of prizes for the top 50 bucks scored. And a little 11 year old girl had a, a buck, a white tail buck that scored 206. That's 206 inches of antlers. Probably was not over two or three or four men in that entire building. And we had four, five, six hundred people there. Probably not two or three or four men in there that had killed a deer that big. And this little girl's 11 years old. And I told her, I said, baby, the only thing, it's hard to beat that PB. It's going to be hard to beat that. And she said, I'm going to beat it this year, Jimmy. So I just love it. I just love it. And even when you got down to maybe the, the top 50 deer in the youth buck contest, got prizes, real nice prizes, real nice. A lot of tree stands and various things to, to hunt and fish with. Uh, rod and reels and tackle boxes and all kinds of stuff that they had for these kids. But when, uh, even when you got down to about number 30 in the scoring, is like 125 or 130 score deer. So these kids really done good. That's a great area. That's farm area over there around Dumas, around McGee, Arkansas. Farm area, and they've got a lot of big bucks in there, and those kids are getting after them, I guarantee you. They're getting after them big time. So uh, we had two great personal appearances uh, this next weekend. I think, again, I'll, I'll, I'll check this out and do another video throughout the week, but I think that we only work Saturday this weekend. I think, in fact, I believe I'll be back at the ranch Saturday night and be able to be in my own church again, Midway Hills Baptist. I think I've been there two, two Sundays in a row, which is kind of unusual. Haven't missed any Sundays, but I've, either, I've been over here at Keys Baptist Church just about as much. Uh, uh, of course, they, they, I don't know if they'd ask me anyway, but I figure if I keep coming over here week after week after week like I've been doing, they might ask me if I want to be a deacon over here again, but probably not. <laughs> probably not. I am a deacon down at Midway Hills. But uh, and they may kick me off over there if I don't start showing up a little bit more often. But this is the time of the year we're working a lot on the weekends, and sometimes we work Saturday nights at events. And next Saturday um, night is an event that we work Saturday night, so I actually will be flying back on, on Sunday morning uh, back home. Sherry's coming to the ranch. Uh, we will be at the ranch all week. Chris will be there next weekend. Sherry will actually get to go to our church down there next Sunday morning and take Chris to our church down there, Midway Hills Baptist, between Sulphur and Davis, Oklahoma. So, uh, so we've got a really great week planned this week. Valentine's Day coming up on the 14th. Going to go see Jesus Christ Superstar on uh, Thursday night the 16th. And then uh, we will be a church south of Birmingham, Asheville, Alabama. Asheville, Alabama. I'll give you a little more information about that. Uh, I want to think that event might start a, a, a little bit earlier in the evening, maybe around uh, 4.35 o'clock. But, but anyway, it's, it's Thursday evening. Uh, I mean, uh, excuse me. Saturday evening, the 18th. Oh, Lordy mercy. It'll be in Oklahoma City while you're watching that play. But uh, me, uh, they're, they're Saturday evening. So if you're anywhere around Birmingham area, uh, the Atlanta area, or this side of Atlanta, um, we'll be at that church. And I believe that is probably First Baptist Asheville. I'm not ex positive of that. But I believe it's First Baptist Asheville, Alabama. And uh, we're going to have a great evening that, e that evening, I promise you. You know, it's a great Baptist church there. Great individuals in that church. And we're going to have a great time. So plan on being there if you're anywhere around uh, Asheville, Alabama. And uh, I'll give you a little bit more information about that this week. I just don't have any of that thing stuff in front of me right now. We are close. We've been talking about February 14, February 16. A big date is February 15. February 15 in the south and it depends on where you are in the south you may live further south and this happens a little bit earlier but february 15th in southern oklahoma arkansas southern missouri 
uh, really pretty much the whole state of Oklahoma, not just southern Oklahoma. But that February 15th is the little day on a calendar where the year sort of turns around. The year sort of turns around and we, 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 ha we see spring peaking around the corner. And we have days like this, which is still a little bit chilly, but a really nice, beautiful, sunshiny day, blue sky everywhere. And we've got days then the next two or three days, three days in a row, where it's going to be 60, 65, 70, 73, 74. And then another little cold front will come through and it's going to be 46 degrees. But that cold front is only going to last like a couple, two or three days. I think we got like a, a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's going to be back up in the 60s. And then you may have another little cold front. So the cold fronts are shorter du du durations, and they're not nearly as violent. They're not nearly as bad. It doesn't get nearly as cold. And then you're followed by some weather that's warmer than it's been in, in several months. So that's we're turning into spring. It's turning into spring. So February 15th, that happens this week. I think that's on a Wednesday. And uh, once that date gets here, that's the date that you turn it around and start God starts making spring happen all over the southern part of the United States. Now, go down a little bit further south, it's happening a lot quicker than that. But uh, February 15th, it's a day that I look for in February. February doesn't have as many days in it as the rest of the month because most of the hunting seasons are closed. The good fishing hasn't really started yet. But can I tell you, we're going to go out there and fish a little bit Wednesday in that 70 degree day. Probably only a couple, two or three hours maybe. I'm just going to go out and fish there at the ranch. But have a good time. But then the next trip we got planned is the end of this month. Go down and fish in northern Florida and uh, southern Georgia for a couple, two or three days. To do some television shows. We'll have those for you and we'll have some stuff right here on social media as well. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one this week. One of the greatest times of the year is this beginning to start happening. Spring spring when God takes these dead trees, dead grass, dead everything and breathes life back into it. And you know it happens year after year after year. We have a God that is faithful to do the things that he's promised. Guys and girls go out there and have you a great week and remember I sure do love you.